Alrighty, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Um, got a little bit of fresh snow here, so it's nice to get a little bit of snow for Christmas. It's been a while since I posted anything. Been pretty busy with Christmas and um, had a few other things happen. Nothing that uh, we didn't expect, but uh, shit happens. But uh, anyways, I figured I'd start this off. As you can see, title of the video, One Last Hunt. And uh, I would, it's gonna be difficult to get through this, so I will admit that, but I'm gonna try to do my very best. So, about uh, two months ago, we noticed uh, Penelope was losing weight and she wasn't eating right and she had a hard time going to the bathroom and she was having a lot of issues. So we brought her to the vet and they found out she had stomach and intestinal cancer and it was pretty far along. They gave her one to three months to live. So um, we treated her well for the last month and a half, uh, two months, gave her the best food we could give her, yeah, spent as much time as we could with her and uh, tried to give her the best life possible. But we didn't, I, the one thing I didn't want my, uh, dog to do. If I can't, the, the critters that I hunt, I don't allow them to suffer. I try to put them out as fast and quick as possible. So I told my wife flat out, the instant I notice my dog is suffering, we're going to have to put her down. Nobody wants the critters to suffer. So um, sadly, about uh, two and a half weeks ago, we had to put Penelope down. Uh, it was probably about a month ago now. Uh, we had to put Penelope down. Um, she just wasn't, she wasn't able to enjoy the things she enjoyed. So uh, what I did is the last day we had her, um, <clears throat> I took her out hunting. Uh, we had a great day. Took her up to the koozie. We went hunting up there. We didn't get anything, but it was a great day and a great hunt. And it was... Uh, It was, it was a good day. So, I figured I'd share that with you and uh, let you see Penelope's last hunt. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I just picked up a few more. Just over 500 subscribers, 350,000 views. Pretty incredible. And I can't thank you and Penelope enough. She helped me big time. So thank you, Penelope. This one's for you. Stay tuned. for a little bit, pups. You want out, pups? Yeah, she does. Happy camping. Uh. It took off. I just want to get to the uh, end destination. Oh, yeah, have you seen this road that Fred put in yet? Yeah, that goes all the way yeah, around. It's yeah, it's ridiculous. Chores and shit. Out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, should be signing the fucking papers on next Friday, a week from today, and then the fucking remortgage will be done. Oh, on the house? Yeah. Nice. It's going to be a 15-year mortgage. It's only 582 a month. Oh, shit. But at least that was how much they estimated. It should be right around there. Oh, and a half of fucking coke, too, <laughs> so that would have been like another $150,000 right there. <coughs> you got the lighter? Yep. Give her one more, and then... <coughs> Remind me that that'll be enough till I. I suppose the office closes at four, but I like to go there at least semi sober. <laughs> Say yes, but I mean no. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh, do I do I steal it? No. You need a boat, and you cross out of Miami and you go to all these little islands in the Caribbean 
And that's where you make fucking drug deals with like big time fucking drug dealers. So you end up getting a crap ton of money, but then you have to smuggle it back through the fucking water and get away from the fucking Navy and the fucking border patrol and shit and go fucking stash it at one of your hideaways and lose the cops. <laughs> Still wanting to hunt the pop up, eh? You can see how skinny she is. It's fucking skin and bones. Yeah, she so still wants to hunt though. Are you kidding me? She's like, there's shit moving down there. Yeah, and she still moves around really good too. Yeah, she still, like I said. Oh man, can't. I feel bad making her struggle through the night. This morning I let her out at like 5:30, and uh-huh. I fucking fell asleep. Woke up at was it 20 after six, and she still hadn't wanted to come back in the house yet. So she was out just doing her thing. Have to see her, but. Oh, yeah. Somewhere chasing squirrels. I guess they just look like I guess good, good people. Yeah. Just barely make it home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks like she's, what do you think, pups? It's nice to be out here, eh? Yeah, one more, one good hunt up here. Say goodbye to it, pups. There's that fucking guy there. He didn't say nothing about it. Yeah. I wasn't fucking thinking about it or fucking. Alrighty. Well, there it was. Uh, it's a little bit tough to watch and tough to get through, and it took me like three and a half weeks to even watch the video. Not the easiest, but. <clears throat> One thing that made it quite a bit easier is literally 12 hours to the minute from the time we put her down, about 5.45 in the morning, she came to me in a dream. The first and only time I can ever remember her coming to me in a dream. And all I could feel was happiness and she was, she looked good, she was happy. It was a, just a very clear proof that she was coming to me and saying, it's okay, you made the right decision, you know, don't feel bad and, and she was happy and so was I and I took that as a sign as she's happy I'm happy neither of us were in pain neither of us were sad the dream was fantastic and it was, couldn't have been at a better time so it let me know it helped it helped down inside to know but it's still a tough subject everybody loves her critter 11 years I love the shit out of that dog so they're tough to let go love your critters love your family be good to each other and have a great day on to the next adventure